Welcome to Mechnician. Today I'm going to show you a video of the Bobcat 5600 utility vehicles and how Jaw Test can diagnose, provide you support on the engine, Kubota engines that are in them. So let's take a look here quickly at Jaw Test. So obviously we've got off highway, you know, compact engines and utility vehicles connecting and diagnosing over 100 brands of engines and construction equipment. The Bobcat 5600 is here located under the multi-purpose vehicles. So here you can see we've got the 5600. Inside the 5600, you can see we've only got the engine system, but that's a lot of coverage basically when you think about the, uh, the AUTV. So here we can go, actually go, and first of all, we can quickly see on the front end what we have in terms of special functions, calibrating camshaft sensors, cylinder cutouts, high pressure pumps, injector coating, intake throttle calibration. Um, at the same time, if we come back to our systems, you can see we've also got technical information as well as wiring diagrams on this engine. Let's go ahead and connect to the engine. So here, if I come in and actually just go and read the fault codes, we'll read the, the codes here on this Kubota engine. We're able to identify here, this is obviously demo data. We're not connected to uh, Bobcat 5600. I can take any of these, so injector timing rail pressure. I open this up. First thing I'm gonna see is the freeze frame. When did the fault last occur? What's going on in, in terms of the, um, you know, is it still active? And they give me some help with it, right? So nice thing about gel test, the technical information is integrated right into the software. So I can come in here, show me information on this valve, fuel metering valve. Able to see the pinout on it, got some details on it. Now show me, let's go actually look at this component and see how it pins up to the ECM. A lot of times you'll see that technical info too, a lot of things like voltages and readings and you know links to live measurements, depend on the component in which it is that we're, we're opening up. In this case, we can see the, uh, the fuel metering valve pins up to the ECM, pin number 77, 86. I can take this, open up the engine control unit. If I want to see where 77 and 86 is, and have a look. Here's the pinouts. So I can just basically work my way through and figure out where 77 and 86 is and I can test those ports on the, on the ECM. Let's come back. All right, and lastly, I got a repair tree for it. So if I want to try to figure out what's going on, uh, I do have some steps to help me uh, diagnose this uh, fuel metering valve. Right, check if the fault's still active. Right, it's obviously it's still here. Start the engine, check the fault codes, clear them. Now we're gonna get into the wiring and connections. Right, we're gonna look at the resistance and everything, fuel metering valve. There's the pinout, you know, make sure everything has the check been correct. No. All right, so on and so forth, right? So it's gonna take you through a repair tree to basically go through the codes. Let's come back now to the diagnostic menu, right? And obviously at the end, it's gonna clear them. And it can save, um, everything we're doing is saved to a work order for you as well. You can upload into your own system or our garage resource planner where all of our data is housed. You can keep your whole fleet in there. You can um, you know, store your equipment. If you've got engines and chippers or engines and other things, uh, you can keep it in there that you're connecting to as well. Sorry, you wanna save it? Yes talking instead of figuring out what I'm doing here. Give me a second. All good. All right, so we're done just kind of reading the codes. System data, it's just gonna give us some ECU data with software versions, things like that that's in there. But we can come in and look at live uh, monitoring on this engine. So if I wanna come in, you know, I can see there's 223 measurements that we can pull off this. I can, whatever, just take temperature and pressure. I can grab a few of these um, items here, take them, graph them in real time be able to see what's happening or even bring them up on dials to be able to see, you know, here's what's specifically going on. Um, you can also, when, you, when it comes to live measurements, uh, we've got some system displays, depends on the unit, sometimes after treatment displays, fuel displays, you know, you're able to get a nice look here at the fuel system on this uh, 5600 uh, to know what's going on with it. Also got data recording too. You can actually go and record 90 minutes of uh, operation data. So if you're running it and doing tests, record up to 24 different uh, measurements, set triggers, 
you know, when does the fault go off? Uh, what were my pressures and temperatures? Things like that you can check. Basically just plays back like a YouTube video. Uh, actuating components, we can actuate the glow plug here for terms of testing. Any system checks, I want to do a buzz test or cylinder cutout test, you know, any of the special functions and gel tests, whether it's forcing regens or calibrating transmissions, whatever it is you're doing, here it's going to come in, provide us the information on what exactly we're doing. In this case, we're going to be cutting certain um, uh, cylinders to be able to listen for the noise, see what's actually functioning in each uh, injector. So I can pick which injector to turn off, number two, right? So now I can come in and just basically turn it on and off. You know, I'm not the mechanic, but at the end of the day, yeah, that's how you can also be listening, listen for the buzz, wait for it goes on and off. Um, and that's basically all you gotta do. Other tests are very automatic, like a regen, force regen just runs kind of on its own. Check your initial conditions, and uh, at the end, just kind of get a report. So, so there you go, there's an injector buzz test we just did on our um, Bobcat 5600. You can see some of the other tests we've got here under system checks. Uh, we can come in also set parameters, coding injectors, uh, very easy to do. Uh, maintenance side, right, if we've got to run a regen, uh, it's tier four engine. You know, someone skipped by it, it's limping around in limp mode, it's gonna run up to 800 degrees, right? It's telling us, let's get our initial conditions, get our conditions set in terms of the coolant temperature greater than 40, Pedals less than 5%, um, and it's going to tell you when you're in that range, and then we hit go. Right now, it's going to tell us basically it's going to end automatically the process. Obviously, we're not doing a regen here, it's 45 minutes. Uh, this is just going to take us through quickly exactly uh, what the process looks like. Right, the available measurements are displayed while it's running it, and then it's all done. Right, so then. Uh, Process is complete. It's telling us give 10 seconds before you go and uh, reset the, the control unit, which we didn't because we're not connected. And then uh, here we go, right? So there's all our results, right? There's the graph of basically what we did, the temperatures, the RPMs that were done, the soot and that that was, was after and before, and you're able to understand exactly what you were doing running the regen here on the 5600. Okay. Lastly, we've got some calibrations. You can calibrate the high pressure pump, fuel metering valves, injector reset, camshaft sensors. I mean, all kinds of stuff here you can go and do. Um, and that's it, and then a data recorder, right? So some of the other technical information that's in here on the 5600, lots of stuff obviously on the engine, you know, all kinds of different components and things that we've got, right, to be able to know exactly what they are, you know, whether it's just uh, getting us to the switch of them or actual information on the components, right? Uh, the diagram you've already seen. All right, and with that, uh, actually we're gonna disconnect, uh, accept, right? And it's gonna give us a chance to come up here. I'll show you the, everything you're doing is kept in a, a work order, basically recorded in a PDF, right? So we can take this and you'll see everything we did. We read the fault codes. It's documented that. It documented our monitoring we did, the fuel system we looked at, the system checks we did, uh, the maintenance that we performed um, in terms of the cylinder cut buzz test, the regen data is, is kept for us. Everything's all in place. If I did want to add any comments or record audio or things like that, I can do it. And then it saves it up in my garage resource planner So, or download the PDF. Anyways, with that, uh, thank you for your time. If you'd like to look at a gel test off-highway diagnostic solution, uh, I'd be glad to assist you with that. Uh, certainly, um, you know, just reach out to us here at McNission, and we'll be glad to help you, www.mcnition.com. Thank you.